Welcome back to the channel, y'all. So today is going to be a kind of different video. This is something I'm really excited to bring to y'all because it's really cool and it's out of pocket for Andy Wood to do this type video. But we're at one of the granddaddies of the performance industry, okay? And when I say that, you'll be like, what are you doing at this plant knowing that you're an H guy? So today, we're going behind the scenes of the VRS 4150 at... I'm here with Todd at Edelbrock. Tell him what you do, Todd. Um, well, I'm the general manager for the East Coast. Uh, so basically the East Coast uh, is comprised of Sanford, North Carolina, where we're at today, and uh, Mooresville, uh, North Carolina, where we have a race center, uh, where we work with real closely with Pat Musi and his race engine building uh, team, and um, we build cylinder heads and um, and crate engines there. Uh, here in Sanford, we make carburetors, throttle bodies uh, for fuel systems. We also make pumps and regulators, uh, so a vast variety of products. Awesome. So about how many employees you have employed here? Right now we have about 90 people here. Okay. Um, and, and we flex. Our primary product is carburetors. Obviously yeah. it's all aftermarket. Uh, so we have some peaks and valleys. Wintertime is usually a, a little bit of a, a valley period for us. And then uh, spring and summer is usually peaks. So we'll go up to 120 and uh, maybe down to 80 or so. Okay. Uh, so right now we're heading into the spring. So uh, our business is kind of picking up there. Awesome. Well, let's go take a look and see behind the scenes of what they actually do. These bodies, are they produced here or are they produced in another facility? Yeah, they're, they're produced elsewhere. Okay, and then they come in and then y'all do y'all's yep. magic to everything else. Yeah. So this is straight out of the box? Yep, then straight out the box. Has the bushings in it? Yeah, right here, because it's already, we got the pin. Mm -hmm. So we already get that pressed and drilled. Let me see that. Okay, the first big thing that I notice is how that's machined down in the Venturi, and it's just not a as-cast finish. Now it's as-cast on top, but the bottom side is actually machine. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the first thing we're going, we're going to check, we're going to check our fuel circuits. Okay, make sure everything's yep. kosher there. Yeah, make sure everything's good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I got first thing of the day, I'm going to make sure that calibration's right. Yeah, yeah all that. So I put my master on my leaker. So basically what that's doing is pulling a vacuum to check for any kind of leaks, yep. right? So William, tell, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been here? Well, I've lived Sanford all my life. Uh, started off in Magna, working with Volkswagen, Harley, Fiat, and from there I moved over to the carburetors. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing the carburetor about five years here, which is enjoyable. Too. Yeah, it's a whole lot. It's challenges. I give you every day the challenge. Yeah, you here. never know what's going to come at yeah. you, right? Yeah, yeah. So now you're checking the bleed, right? Yep, every yeah, bleed. We're gonna fill up the top. So what William is getting ready to do is actually press the bushings in the throttle shaft bores. See the intermediate circuit tube there. I have a little blank. Yep. A little blank goes in every one of them. Okay. So basically when he's done, it'll look like that right yep. there. Time for the throttle shaft. Oh yeah. 
William, what's your trick to getting that centered in that board? Like, well, like Have you got a special trick that just you do? Uh, and, uh, I just realign it, I loosen it, and just a little tap. A little tap to get it centered. Yep. So Stake. now you're staking the screws, right? Yep. So we don't want them things falling no, out. Definitely not. We're uh, putting this into the pump shooter. Yeah, the check. Yep. Check valve. Yep. It's our weight. Yep. Squirter, yeah. 30, what is that, 31 or 35? 33. 33, okay. Yeah, 33. Brought it over to the other table here. We use this to have a constant torque. Yeah. To every, on the accelerator pump nozzle. I don't think my wrist is calibrated that good with screwdriver, but yeah. Now it's time to put in the bowl vent. Yeah. Yeah. Press. I got a little excess trash in yeah, there. Yeah, make sure you don't have any shavings or anything in there. Come in pre, pre machine, pre machine. Take them out of the box, and then you, you put all of the internal guts in them. Yeah. Leak test everything. Make sure everything's 100% sealed. No leakage. Okay. Let's see that. As you can see, this is a really high quality unit. I like the internal baffle in there. That was the first thing I noticed when he took it out of the box. Uh, that's for sloshing, going around corners, things of that sort. But this is a super nice cast finish. Our umbrellas. Yeah, before the accelerator pump. Got a nylon float there. It's angled on both sides, so that's good. the spring and the pin and all the all right William so what are we getting ready to do here now we're checking checking our nail seat to make sure there's no leakage okay CC diaphragm and cover spring. Oh, yeah. So, is that actually, oh, that's Allen head instead yeah. of the Phillips yeah. screw? Yeah. yeah. Now he's putting the sight glass in there. What, got an O ring? O ring still. Yeah. Glass. And snap ring in there. Yep, snap ring. to make sure they're to torque.
All right. After the leak test is complete, it's good. Green dot, because now this is a complete fuel roll. Yep. Ready to rock and roll, Ready right? Ready for the next thing. Yeah. Now we get to start working on the fun stuff of uh, the metering block. Build nose, right? Yep, 140. I mean, look at the passages on this compared to a regular poly block. Truly amazing. Passages clear. So you know me guys, I'm looking at small differences. And take for instance the idle mixture screw. You know on a typical holly where you just have an O-ring, check this out. This is what actually seals the needle and mixture screw into the metering block. That is really cool. Size main jet we put in that, William? 72. 72s. All right, see, he's already got the vent whistle on here, all the other plugs. It's starting to look like a metering block. start the party yep now we're adding our cam 3cc cam for the accelerator pump Starting to look like something now. About time for the boosters, ain't it? Yeah. Key yeah. to make them loud. Stakes. operating table. Every carburetor, 
uh, throughout the whole thing. Special touch, everyone else. So what are you ladies working on? Throttle bodies. Field injection throttle bodies, right? Right. That's nice right there. How long have y'all been here? I've been here seven years. Okay. Uh, I just started working in this room maybe a year and a half now. Okay. How about you? I've been here for almost three years and in this room over there and over here all together like about two years. Okay. You're that height. Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright folks, so you got to see behind the scenes of the VRS forty one fifty being built. I don't think that's been shown anywhere on YouTube. But more importantly, you're going to get to see them in action. So come here, William. So just know if you got a VRS 4150, this is the guy that makes it happen. William, I want to thank you so much for your time, showing me what you did. And more importantly, I want to thank you for the hospitality that you and your group have shown us here today. It's really meant a lot to us. It's awesome to see how y'all work together. And this place is just amazing. So you got anything you'd like to say? No, I just hope uh, everybody be able to understand what's done here and see that we put our passion behind this. We put our heart and soul into this part. I could see it watching him build these carburetors. It's amazing. So that's all I got. This is Andy from Unity Motorsports Garage. This is William Spivey from Edelbrock. We will catch you later. Telling you, telling you what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, you didn't even recognize that you're going to be on air. Uh, oh. He said we could film anything. Wait.